गुड मॉर्निंग ना विल कंटिन्यू विथ एक्सरसाइज ओके 5.3 टेंथ सम शो दैट ए1 ए2 ए3 डॉट 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 एन फॉर्म एन एपी वेयर एन इज डिफाइंड एज बिलो फर्स्ट इज एन इज इक्वल टू 3 प्लस 4 एन सेकंड इज एन इज इक्वल टू 9 माइनस 5 एन आल्सो फाइंड द सम ऑफ फर्स्ट 15 टर्म्स इन ईच केस इन ईच केस मींस इन बिट 1 एंड बिट Two. Now, if you look at this sum, there is no value of a, there is no value of b, there is no value of n. But equation is given to us. Then, when equation is given to us, then in that case, you have to place the value of n, n as one, two, three, four, so that we get a p. And once we get a p, we can find a and d from that a p. I will write here. Okay. Substitute. Substitute n is equal to one comma two comma three comma four and so on. But we will okay put only one two and three only. Three terms are sufficient okay to form an a p. I will write here now. Substitute n is equal to one. Let's call this as equation number one. N is equal to one in equation number one. So it becomes a one. Why a one? Because a n n is equal to one. A is equal to three plus four n. Four into what is the value of n? One. So a one is equal to three plus four. A one is equal to seven. Then now substitute n is equal to two in equation number one. Equation number one. What is equation number one? A n is equal to three plus four n, but what is n here? Two, so it becomes a two. A two is equal to three plus four into two because n is equal to two. We have to place this value in equation number one. A two is equal to three plus four to the eight. A two is equal to eleven. A two is equal to eleven. Now I will take the value of n is equal to three. Substitute. n is equal to 3 in equation 1 equation 1 that is a 3 because it is a n n is now 3 is equal to 3 plus 4 n means 4 into 3 because n is here 3 right a 3 is equal to 3 plus 4 3 is a 12 a 3 is equal to 15 Right now we have got the value of a one, we have got the value of a two, we have got the value of a three. Now we can write okay the a p. We'll write the a p, and from a p we will get a and d. Now I will write here. Therefore, a p is seven, eleven. Fifteen and so on and so on, right? Now from here, okay, we'll get the value of a and d. A is equal to seven. D is equal to eleven minus seven. So d is equal to four. Now we have to find sum of First fifteen terms means n is fifteen here, and we have to find S n. S n is equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into b. Plus the value of n. What is n? Fifteen. Fifteen upon two in bracket two into a is how much? Seven plus n is fifteen minus one into d is. Four, right? Is equal to fifteen upon two into multiply the bracket. Two sevens are fourteen plus fifteen minus one, fourteen into four. Is equal to fifteen upon two into fourteen plus fourteen four is fifty-six. Is equal to fifteen by two into seventy. Fourteen plus fifty-six is seventy. Divide it. Two ones are two. Two thirty five is equal to fifteen into thirty five. 
Let's see what is the multiplication of 35 into 15. I will write here. 35 into 15. 5 5 is a 25. Right? 5 3 is a 15. Plus 2. 17. 1 5 is a 5. 1 3 is a 3. This is 5. 7 plus 5. 12. It is 5. 25. 5. 25. So here S 15. Sum of first 15 terms is 5. 20. 5. This is the first bit. Second bit is also left. Now we will go on second bit. First bit is done. That is A is equal to 3 plus 4 and in this case we have got S15 as 525. Now we have to find for the second equation. Again I will write okay the equation and then as I have told you when we don't have the values of N, A and D we have to substitute the values of N as 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Second bit is a n is equal to 9 minus 5 n. Substitute n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Right? Same procedure you have to follow what we have done in the first case. Right? Substitute n is equal to 1 in equation 1. In equation number 1. So it becomes a1 because n is how much? 1. So a n becomes a1 is equal to 9 minus 5 n. 9 minus 5 into what is the value of n? 1. a1 is equal to 9 minus 5. a1 is equal to 4. a1 is equal to 4. Now substitute n is equal to 2. Now substitute n is equal to 2 in equation number 1. In equation 1. What is equation 1? A n is equal to 9 minus 5 n. So 9 minus 5 n is 5 into n. <coughs> n is 2 here. A n is equal to or we can call it as A 2. Instead of focusing A n because we have to find A 2. 9 minus 10. A 2 is equal to minus 1 a2 is equal to minus 1. Now, substitute n is equal to 3 in equation number 1. In equation number 1, it becomes a3 is equal to 9 minus 5 into 3. a3 is equal to 9 minus 15. a3 is equal to minus 6. Right? Now we have got the values of a1. a1 is 4, a2 is minus 1, a3 is minus 6. Means ap is formed. ap is formed. I will write here, okay. The ap is and then from that ap I will get a and d. Okay. The ap is, ap is, what was the value of uh, uh, a1? It was 4. Then A2 is minus 1, A3 is minus 6. Now from here, okay, we will get the values of A and D. We will get the values of A and D. A is equal to 4. D is equal to minus 1, minus 4. Because D is equal to A2 minus A1 is equal to minus 5. Now I will find S15 we have to find. Means for that we have to use SN's formula. Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Again I repeat okay after getting the value of a and d we have to find the sum of first 15 terms means n will be 15 but we have to use the formula for Sn. Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to n is 15 by 2 into 2 into what is the value of a? 4 plus 15 minus 1 into d is minus 5 is equal to 15 upon 2 into 2 4 is 8 plus 15 minus 1 14 into minus 5 is equal to 15 upon 2 into 8 plus into minus minus 14 into 5 is see here 14 5 5 4 is 20, 70 is equal to 15 upon 2 into minus 
62. SN can come negative. N cannot be negative. Okay. 8 minus 70 is minus 62. 2 ones are 2. 30 ones are is equal to 15 into 31. We will multiply. 31 means minus 31. Okay. Let's see what is the multiplication. 31 into 15. 5 ones are 5. 5 threes are 15. 1 ones are 1. 1 threes are 3. This is 5. 6. 465. Is equal to minus 465. So S15 in second case is minus 465. So always, okay, when we see the sum of this type where only equation is given and values of A and A. D is not given, then this is the procedure, okay, to find the sum of first 15 terms or any terms, it can be 18 terms, 20 terms. Eleven sum. If the sum of first n terms of an AP is 4n minus n square, full stop, what is the first term? Here first term is S1 question mark. What is the sum of first two terms? What is the second term? Similarly find third, ten and the nth term. If you look at okay, the previous sum, it was An. Here it is Sn. Right? There is difference okay to find the AP in An and Sn. I'll write here. It is given. What is the equation given? Sum means Sn. Sn is equal to 4n minus n square. Again, if you want to find a1, a2, a3, we have to place the values of n as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, I will write here. Substitute n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Right? I will call this as equation number 1. Sn is equal to 4n minus n square is equation number 1. Substitute n is equal to 1 in equation 1. Then we will get S1, right? S1 is equal to 4 into 1 minus 1 square. Because wherever, okay, n will come, value of n in equation number 1 is 1. Because we have to put the value of 1, okay, n as 1. S1 is equal to 4 minus 1. S1 is equal to 3. But the sum says that, what is the first term? That is S1. Here S1 is equal to A1. S1 is equal to A1. Now I will write here. Substitute N is equal to 2 in equation number 1. Now I will substitute N is equal to 2 in equation number 1. It will become S2. Because value of N is 2. Is equal to 4 into 2 minus 2 square. S2 is equal to 4 to the 8 minus 2 square is 4. S2 is equal to 4. Right? Now, substitute n is equal to 3 in equation number 1. We have to substitute value of n as 3. It becomes S3 is equal to 4n. 4n means 4 into 3 minus n square means 3 square. S3 is equal to 12 minus 9. S3 is equal to 3. S3 is equal to 3. But we have not got the values of A2 and A3. We have just got the value of A1. Why? It is said here in the sum. What is the first term? That is S1. So S1 is equal to A1. Now we have to find A2 and A3. Then only okay A3 will be formed. And in this case, we have to find A2 and A3. You have to subtract, okay, for finding A2, I will rub this, right, A2 is equal to S2 minus S1, this is A2 is equal to S2 minus S1, A2 is equal to S2, what was the S2, 3, oh, sorry, it is 4, 4 minus S1 is how much? 3. S1 is 3. So, A2 will be 1. Now, A3 is equal to S3 minus S2. A3 is equal to S3 minus S2. So, A3 is equal to S3 is how much? 3. 
माइनस एस क्यू इज हाउ मच फोर सो ए थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन नाउ ओके नाउ आई विल राइट द ए पी बिकॉज आई हैव गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन ए टू एंड ए थ्री देर फोर ए पी इज वट इज ए पी वन बिकॉज सॉरी इट्स थ्री बिकॉज ए वन इज थ्री कॉमा ए टू इज वन एंड ए थ्री इज माइनस वन सो दिस इज ए पी सो ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री डी इज इक्वल टू डी इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू Now we okay. We have got the value of a. We have got the value of d. Now we find okay here as what they have said. First term is already done. What is the sum of first two terms? S two is already found. Okay, S two we have already found. What is the second term? Second term is also found. Second term a two. Second term is already found. That is one, right? Similarly, find third term. Third term a three. A three is equal to minus one. That is already found. I find tenth term and nth term. Tenth term and nth term. I'll find here. Okay, tenth term means what? A ten. A ten. A ten is equal to. We are finding tenth term. We have already found. Okay, S two in the beginning only. Second term we have found A two. That is one. And uh, we have found what else? Third term. Third term is also we have found minus one. Now we are finding a ten. A ten is equal to a plus ninety is equal to a is how much? Three plus nine into minus two is equal to three minus eighteen is equal to minus fifteen. A ten is equal to minus fifteen. And now nth term. Nth term means a n. Nth term means a n. We are finding the last part of the sum. A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d, a n is equal to a, a is three plus n minus one into d is how much minus two, because there is no value of n here, so we'll put or we'll keep n as it is, and we at the end okay, and the term we'll get okay in the terms of equation only, a n is equal to three, multiply minus two with the bracket, minus two into n minus 2n minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2. An is equal to 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 minus 2n. So this is the nth term, and this is the tenth term. Twelfth sum. Find the sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by Six. Again, I repeat the sum. Find the sum of first forty positive integers divisible by six. Solution. Right? Forty positive integers divisible by six. Sir, see, I have to say the table of six. Again, I repeat. First forty positive integers divisible by six are six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Dot dot dot. Means you have to say the table of six. So a is equal to six, d is equal to twelve minus six. Okay. Therefore d is equal to six. N is given. Sum of first forty positive integers. Number of integers are forty. So we have all the values. We have a, we have d, we have n. We'll find S n. S n is equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into d. S n is equal to n. What is n? Forty. Forty upon two into two a means two into six plus n minus one into d. N is how much? Forty minus one into d is six. S n is equal to what is forty upon two? Twenty into two six a twelve plus forty minus one thirty nine into six. S n is equal to twenty into twelve plus. Let's see what is thirty nine into six. Thirty nine into six six nine a fifty four. Six three a eighty. 
18 plus 5 23 it is 2 34 right sn is equal to 20 into what is 234 plus 12 it is 234 plus 12 this is uh, 6 4 246 246 sn is equal to I will multiply every 246 by 2 and then I will add 0 246 into 2 2 6 is 12 2 4 is 8 9 2 2 is 4 so it is equal to 4 9 2 0 246 into 20 is 4 9 2 0 so here right the sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 that is sn is equal to 4 9 2 0 13 sum. Find the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8. Means you have to see the table of 8 and then we have to find the sum of first 15 multiples. Means you have to find S15. Right? So how to begin? I will write here. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32 and so on. Multiples of 8 means you have to say the table of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32. Because 8 ones are 8, 8 to the 16, 8 to the 24, 8 for the 32 and so on. A is equal to, what is the value of A here? 8. What is the value of D? D is equal to A2 minus A1. What is A2? 16. Minus A1 is 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. N is equal to how much? 15. Because it is given. 15 multiples means these are the number of multiples n is equal to 15 right sn's formula because we have to find sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d right sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d sn is equal to n what is n 15 15 upon 2 into 2a means 2 into 8 plus n minus 1 means 15 minus 1 into 8 because d is 8. Sn is equal to 15 by 2 into 2 are 16 plus 15 minus 1 is 14 into 8. Sn is equal to 15 by 2 into 16 plus 14 8 za. What is 14 8 za? 8 4 za. 32. 8 1 za 8. Right? 8 4 za. 32. 3 carry. 8 1 za 8. 8 plus 3. 11. Find 1. SN is equal to 15 upon 2 into. Right? 112 plus 16 is 128. SN is equal to. 15 into, if you divide 128 by 2, we get 64. Sn is equal to, let's see what is 64 into 15. 64 into 15. 5 4 is 20. 5 6 is 30. Plus 2, 32. 0. 1 4 is 4. 1 6 is 6. This is 960. Sn is equal to 960. Fourteen sum. Find the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50. So you have to take the odd numbers between 0 and 50. Whenever the word comes between, you don't have to take the first and the last number. Right? But obviously, okay, 0 is not an odd number. 50 is also not an odd number. So I'll write here, okay, odd numbers, odd numbers between 0 and 50 are the 5, 7, dot, 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 49. Because before 50, 49 is only the odd number, right? Here it is dot, 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 49. What is this? Last term. Last term means A, L. Okay? So, A is given here 1, D is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and A, L is equal to 49. First, we have to find N and then we will find S, N. For n, we will use the formula. 
an is equal to 49 an is what a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 49 now i place the values in this equation a is equal to 1 plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 2 is equal to 49 1 plus open the bracket 2 into n 2n 2 into minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 49 2n 1 minus 2 is minus 1 is equal to 49 2n is equal to 50 because minus 1 goes on the right hand side becomes plus so 49 plus 1 is 50 so n is equal to 25 because n is equal to 50 upon 2 n is equal to 25 now find sn sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d right sn is equal to n is 25 upon 2 2a means 2 into 1 plus this is 25 minus 1 into d is 2 sn is equal to 25 upon 2 into 2 and the 2 plus 25 minus 1 is 24 24 into 2 is equal to 25 upon 2 into 2 plus 24 to the is 48 is equal to 25 upon 2 into 48 plus 2 is 50 is equal to divide 50 by 2 it is equal to 25 into this is 50 by 2 is 25 what is 25 into 25 625 therefore therefore sn is equal to 625 means sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 50 is 625